like I always say, if you're not down with the bullshit and you're down with the real shit, like and subscribe. Check this out. I just want to touch on <clears throat> the ad, the comedic actress, Leslie Jones. Um, I guess she was on some show. She got uh, interviewed and a question had came up where um, she was asked about her dating life. And um, she basically, like, uh, she said something like it was like a shaming tactic that she um, tried to use towards men, saying that um, uh, a lot of men are broken. Um, um, she was basically, like, uh, relating it uh, to herself as far as, like, men, like, I guess not want to date her or ask her out or whatever, uh, you know. Um Leslie Jones has to understand, like, a lot of women, and it's not just Leslie Jones. Um, uh, don't take this out of context, anybody. Um, because um, Leslie Jones uh, has more masculine features, uh, or you could say manly features, whatever. Um, she doesn't have that real feminine appeal that would make a man uh, or the average man offhand want to ask her out or, you know, she doesn't have that appeal, okay? And um, um, women have to understand that, man. I mean, this society, being the way it is, it's getting more and more every day where it's, it's, it's just geared and not giving a damn about about men thoughts men feelings what we want what we desire and anything like that and then it's um there's people who have agendas who where they're trying to force us to like certain things or be certain ways uh or act accordingly to for other people's benefits and um there's gonna be pushback on that because one it's not natural in the first place you know um a lot of overweight women um, think that something's wrong with men because they don't want to think uh, date them. No, you just have to wait until a man who likes overweight women approaches you. And being that um, if you're in that category, you're going to have to pull from the dynamic that is attracted to you. But you must understand that <clears throat> this applies to all of us. That's the truth for all of us. You know, a lot of guys have a lot of, they, they, a lot of guys have an understanding. They have an understanding. They know that the only way that I'm going to get the Beyonce's, the only way that I'm going to get the Rihanna's, the only way I'm going to get the, um, you know, the, the finest women that there are, you know, the Kate Uptons, the, you know, um, um, they know that I'm going to have to have a lot of money. They know that those women, you know, a lot of real beautiful women, uh, use their beauty to manipulate men into basically getting their way. And a lot of men go along with that because why that's what they would prefer. They would prefer to have a beautiful woman or an attractive woman, uh, an attractive, beautiful woman, you know, um, uh, motivates me in, in ways that women that are not that attractive uh, don't. And it's just the truth. It's just reality. A lot of times with, uh, the problem with what's wrong with people is they don't want to accept reality as what it is and they want to form their own sense of reality inside of here. But that's when you're called delusional because it's not true. Uh, Leslie Jones trying to use shaming tactics um it's really crazy, you know, because it's not going to do her any good. She's in her 50s now. Don't have a kid. Don't have a husband. Not married. Whatever. <sighs> Sometimes, man, when it comes to being real about our attraction to the opposite sex, we might have to concede to some things that we really don't want to. But reality is going to be reality whether you're here or you're gone doesn't make a difference and it's all about well what is a relationship worth to you 
What is getting married worth to you? What is having kids worth to you? You can say all you want. Like, I shouldn't have to do this, and I don't want to do this, and I don't give a damn what anybody says. I don't have to get this done to me. I don't have to lose weight. I don't have to get my breast done. I don't have to get my ass done. I I, I don't have to get uh, Botox. I don't have to get um, uh, plastic surgery. I don't have to do something to make my hair longer. I don't have to uh, uh, act more feminine. I don't have to. All those, rightfully so, are your choices as being women. But the men who do not approve and who do not like you looking the way you do, having the attitude that you do, and behaving in the way that you do, also have a right to not want to date you. It's a two-way street. Les Jones is, I'm not going to speak on her comedy, but I'm going to say Leslie Jones acts like she's like the home girl from the hood, you know? Not the lesbian home girl. Don't, don't look at it like that. Y'all remember the old school home girl? Like she liked dudes, but you know, she always kept it real with you, and she told you what what was real, and she could give you advice on women and stuff like that. And she, you know, what I'm saying she was a good judge of character. She was real. She was like your partner. Only thing you did not want is that you know if you guys grew up from like little kids and got into adolescence, you did not want that conversation coming from her where she's saying, you know, I always did like you. No, no. Because all of a sudden she see you, you know, starting to date girls and go out with girls. And all of a sudden she tell you, that, that, not if you look like Leslie Jones. I mean, you know, I'm just being real. Still the partner, still the homegirl and everything like that. You just don't want that homegirl liking you. Y'all know, I'm, I'm like I said, you know, be down with the real shit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Now, if it was one of them girls that was like your friend, but he was like, well... She was pretty and everything, but you know, you figure like, yeah, I mean, you know, we've been knowing each other since we was eight, nine, ten, you know. And now when she go into adolescence, she start looking even more finer, and she come at you like, hey, what's up? You know, you be like, oh, you know, damn, for real, oh, you know, I did always like you, girl. You know, I, yeah, with her, yeah, that makes sense though. Shit, I don't know what time is just keeping it real, but if she look like Leslie Jones, I'm like, nah, girl, you know, what you talking about, man? We folks, man, we the partners. Man, what you doing kind of be telling me that? What the hell? Man, you tripping, man. Our friendship means something, man. Man, you my girl, man. You like my sister, man. Like, I got your back, whatever. But if she look good, you wouldn't say that. But um, it's just about keeping it real, man. So I was just touching on that for a minute. I mean, could have went really deeper, but I'm kind of pressed for time right now. But shit, good, yeah. Because I'd wind up getting on some other factors of women and um we'll put it like this the Lizzo song is coming soon and uh the dark man gonna be you know once again on the track just like uh fat bitch one and fat bitch two uh so uh be prepared for that and um Oh, Autobiography of Misunderstood, uh, the album's still coming. Um, so, all y'all that trip with the damn fool music, you know. Uh, and, uh, new video also about to drop. Um, y'all see it when it does. Because, uh, uh, look like YouTube been having us go through that BS again. Um, but I'll talk about that like at a later date. All right, peace.